Raylan contracted E. coli from an unknown source, which uh, damaged multiple organs, including her large intestine, her kidneys, and her pancreas. Um, so she had emergency surgery to remove her large intestine. Uh, she got diagnosed with type 1 diabetes from the damage from her pancreas and uh, ultimately needed a kidney transplant for the damage to the kidneys. I didn't realize how much our therapy meant until Braylon started doing it and it was her escape from treatments and IVs and blood draws and all of the things that would happen almost every single day. I really liked to paint there and do like finger paint. It was really fun. <laughs> She has her dog at home, and so being able to have the dogs at the hospital was a level of comfort that she could have there. So before surgery or while she was actually in the hospital, she was able to snuggle with them, throw them toys. Just the simplest things that would get her mind off of what was happening made a huge difference. And then after over a year on dialysis and some time between other surgeries, giving her body time to heal. She kind of just came out the other side of it and was a fighter through the whole thing. So we put her in dance. Her soul from the inside out was healing and you could just see the life come back into her eyes and her body just from the inside out heal. The staff were a huge game changer in Braylon's care. Thank you. It wasn't just nurses taking care of Braylon. It was, they were taking care of her like she was their own. And we made so many connections. Um, and even outside of the hospital, we still stay connected with some of them. They're not just hospital staff, they're family at this point. And they always will be. Um, and we just love them dearly.